Welcome back guys, in this video I will be testing Kingdom Come Deliverance Part 2 on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU We will be showing you how to use TLSS 4 upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3.1.3 frame generation The game is shipped with TLSS upscaler version 3.7 so I will be accessing the latest version of TLSS via NVIDIA app the game does not support any frame generation technique so I'll be injecting FSR frame generation into the game using Nitex free OptiScaler mod It's a very nicely optimized title looks amazing and runs well even on a mid-range PC unlike some recently launched games that use Unreal Engine 5 and suffer from traversal stutters The latest version of TLSS Subscaler is 310.2.1.0 that uses the model preset K to verify these details, I'll be enabling TLSS debug overlay. We'll be using the registry code provided by Emus. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on File, click on Save, Close, Execute this registry file. This will enable the debug overlay. If you want to disable the debug overlay, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on File, click on Save, Close, Execute this registry file. This will disable the debug overlay. I'll revert the change as I want to enable it. Run the file. Click on yes, ok. I will be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. You can download it from its github page. We will give its link in the description. Just expand the asset section. Click on the .7z link. This is the build that I will be using. Version 0.7.7 preview 7 20250207. Open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files. 4 of them. Need to paste them in the game since dot directory. I on the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files, open bin folder, open bin64 master master steam pgo folder, paste the mod files here. Just change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. The mod has been installed. If you have an RTX based GPU, it's recommended to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. From here enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. This game does not support NVIDIA Reflex, so I'll enable low latency mode setting from here as well. LLM is not very effective when it comes to cutting down the additional latency caused by FSR frame generation, but it will prevent the FPS from exceeding the display's max refresh rate value by applying an FPS cap when used in conjunction with NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage CD settings here, click on Program settings, click on the drop down bar, from here just select KCD part 2. It's not showing up. Click on add here. Scroll down until you find the game. There it is. Double click. Scroll down until you find LLM setting. There it is. Set it to ultra. Scroll down to the end. Enable vSync. Click on apply. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. Again, apply the changes. Open NVIDIA app, click on graphics, click on program settings, click on the three dots here, click on refresh. This will scan for all of the games installed on your PC. Look for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Select the game. Just click on the drop down bar next to DLSS Overwrite Model Presets. Select the second option, use different settings for each DLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below Super Resolution. This is for DLSS Subscaler. Just select Latest, click on Apply. That's it. Now the latest version of DLSS Subscaler should be used by the game. We are ready to run the game. I will use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. A third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS can affect the proper functioning of 
OptiScaler's hotfix where in the menu you can see FPS is capped at 2 to 5 my display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate so LLM is doing its job in game settings full HD resolution vSync of upscaler DLSS using its quality preset motion blur and depth of field disable ultra graphics preset I just set post process quality to low that's it standing at the entrance of Traskovitz open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this drop down bar we can select the upscaler XCSS, FSR and DLSS subscalers are supported by OptiScaler if you have an RTX GPU just select DLSS version shown here is 3.7.1 but this is not the version of the upscaler being used by the game check debug overlay for the currently used version 310.2.1 Auto exposure setting is enabled as well. Preset used is K. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD. OptiScaler frame generation disabled for the time being. I am accompanied by my dog Mud. It's an action role playing game that features a gorgeous looking open world for us to explore. It is set in the early 15th century. In the kingdom of Bohemia, what is now the modern day Czech Republic, the game continues the story of its predecessor. We play as Henry again, son of a blacksmith who embarks on a journey to avenge the murder of his dead parents. He'll be fighting against Sigismund, king of Croatia and Hungary, and his allies. 60 to 70 FPS without frame generation. Now I'll enable it via OptiScaler. Press insert keyboard key. Check FG active setting, check FG hotfix setting, set the limit value to 1, FG extended setting disable, show you the debug view. Back to the game, in the bottom middle image there shouldn't be any HUD elements. This means the HUD elements won't flicker when we enable OptiScaler frame generation. The color palette should be exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Frame generation smoothing effect will work properly. Displays for all of the images are working properly. Disable the debug view. Back to the game. Your FPS increased to around 120. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. There is a small increase in latency. Nothing extreme. Games hurt elements are not flickering. But DLSS debug overlay is flickering. After verifying the Upscaler's detail, you can disable it. I'll just quickly do this. Just edit the registry file that we created earlier. Replace number 4 with 0. Click on file, click on save. Close. Execute this file. That's it. We are in. FSR frame generation implementation is not perfect in this game. Just observe Henry's shadow when he's sprinting. Yeah, it's flickering. Common FSR frame generation related artifact can be seen even in Spider-Man when he's swinging around the city. When Henry is running out of stamina or health, a vignette-like effect appears on the screen. This disables FSR frame generation smoothing effect. See? There is one way to fix this problem. Open OptiScaler. You need to set FG Hardfix limit value to 4. But this will cause the crosshair to flicker. It will also break the HUD element in the bottom middle part of the display. Back to the game. The smoothing effect feels slightly better than FG limit value set to 1. Observe the crosshair. Yeah, it's flickering. I'll just spam some moves. Run out of stamina. Smoothing effect is still working. As you can see, even with this blue filter applied, the vignette effect. Just observe the HUD element in the bottom middle part of the display, the sword icon, yeah it's flickering. So these are the artifacts that you will be dealing with when the limit value is set to 4. I'll just call my horse. Go for a ride. FPS. Mostly stayed above 100. This is amazing. 
I am running the game at ultra preset. I'll just leave this settlement. The open world areas in this game feature lush green environments as you can see. I'll show you some combat now. Set limit value to 1. You can disable a few post processing effects. Open the game's console mode by pressing the tilde key. It's the key below escape key. Just add this command r underscore hdr vignetting space 0 if you want to enable it just replace number 0 with 1 r underscore chromatic abrasion zero Disabling these post-processing effects may help in preventing OptiScaler hardfix from getting disabled in some scenes. I'll just barge into a bandit camp. Follow my captain. Using a melee weapon. Equipped a shield. Thick foliage here. Bandits. 100 FPS in the jungle. Let's target the body parts. And the enemy is not covering. Took some damage there. I should not have spammed the attack key. Running out of stamina. Should try to go for a parry. Hopefully my teammates will help me. Area cleared. So good experience using OptiScaler mod. Make sure you use the latest version of TLSS Upscaler via NVIDIA app. The process is very simple. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.